Hello and welcome again to Digitizing Your Expertise. And today we are going to look at how to market your expertise. Now we have covered a lot of section when we deal with creating your ebook. We have also spoke about creating your online course, your digital course, and we have other things we're going to create. But before we move on to creating the other things, we're going to talk about how to market what you already have. And that's a big challenge for most people because marketing is a skill that we use, but we use it, um, how to put it, without even thinking about it. For example, when we share about uh, with others about something that we bought, that we used, that we liked, that we enjoyed it, and how it helped us, that's marketing, right? But the same thing we can actually do with our products, our services, our expertise. And not only that, we can actually have people market it for us, spreading it for us. So let me show you how we do this, all right? Now, the first thing we are dealing with when it comes to marketing our products are the keywords. The niche research that you did before when you spoke to the people, when you questioned them, when you asked them, why did you want this? Why did you choose me? Why did you use this product, all right? What did you get out of it? Those benefits we spoke about in the earlies, that's the same thing. We're using those words that they keep repeating. We're yeah? listening to their sentences, their statements. We listen to the frustrations. We listen to the outcomes. And we're looking for the words that keep repeating itself. And then you also, yeah, you, can, you can use applications like online free apps to actually find out, are other people using these words? Are other people searching for the same thing? Right, and we covered that even in the beginning when we dealt with the ebook. When we dealt with researching for the ebook, the words for the ebook, the different chapters for the ebook. All right. Once people are using the words over and over, the statements over and over, the phrases over and over, we know hey, these are words and phrases we need to use in our marketing. All right. Once we get these things done, we know what they're using. Hey, the next step we go on to is we create headline statements. With these state with these words, headline statements, attractive headline statements, like from frustration to freedom. And this is an example, right? But if you look at the newspaper, there are usually three to five words that they use to actually get you to pick up the newspaper, right? Or the magazine. Those three to five words, they experiment with different phrases over and over again to come up with the best to attract you. So these attractive statements are not statements that you're inventing. They're actually statements that people are using over and over and you're just using it back to them. How to get this done. How to get this freedom. How to come out of this frustration. How to get rid of this problem. Or oh, this is what's happening that's causing an impact. That's causing a challenge. So they work on these statements over and over until they get the right combination. And that's how you get attracted to it. So attractive headline statements, three to five words, um, I would say maximum seven, which you will hardly do. It has to be very good to be seven, but three to five words mostly. Um, too good, if you use one, hey, you're a boss, all right? But you need to get those attractive statements. And then that will actually be the compelling statement that will be there in the front of your product. I will say this is the name of it, all right? And we spoke about combining words to, to uh, represent the frustration or the fear or to represent the outcome, the desired outcome or the benefit that they want, right? That's very good to, if you can do that. All right, next, we go on to designing the attractive ads. Now, when you're designing attractive ads, now people actually start here by actually designing an attractive ad. Make it look pretty, nice colors, um, even nice things on it, right? Even sometimes people put themselves on it. But let me tell you something. The most attractive hard ads are designed like this. They're designed for response, not for recognition. The focus is to get the person to take action, either to speak about, shout about, talk about, or to buy something from you, get something from you, right? Because they recognize that you know what they, what they need. You know what they've been looking for. Not so much about you, but about the response that they're going to get when they use your product, the outcome they're going to get when they use your product. So you design by focusing on 
response, not on recognition about you and your brand and your product. No, what are these? What is the person gonna get? Remember when we did that whole um, table with features, advantages, and uh, benefits? That's the response you want. You want the response of the benefit. You want them to grab it because of the benefit. You want them to speak about it because of the benefit, not because of the features that it has or the advantages it has or it provides or the benefits. These are very important in marketing all your products, all right? Next, we want to go to the level of people sharing it. Once it is attractive enough, other people are going to talk about it. Other people are going to spread it. Now, the attraction is not just the design in terms of the colors and, you know, and the different pictures. No, no, no. The statements, most compelling statements combined with images and, you know, this whole statement. A picture speaks a thousand words. So if you can get a picture that represent the compelling statement, even better for you. All right? That is why most people go and work with a graphic artist to design something for them. But you can use your statements. You can actually use statements without pictures, and it will still be attractive. You actually can. It's happening because people are attracted to what they think and feel more than what you have to offer. And once you can talk about what they're thinking, what they're feeling, wow, they grab it. Right? And then people are going to share it with others over and over and over and over again. Right? You want more sharing. And because of more sharing, you get more visibility. People are going to be more attracted to you. They're going to see your product more because other people are sharing it. You're not going to be the only one sharing it. Others are going to be sharing it for you, right? I'm sure you are accustomed to seeing things coming to you on WhatsApp, on your different social media platform, because other people are sharing what, you, what, what they're seeing as valuable, as important to you, all right? So the value we spoke about in the early is those of the keywords, the phrases, the pain, the frustrations, the outcomes, those things we're bringing them into the marketing. And that is going to get it moving, all right? Of course, increased visibility works on different places. So you go and you can search for how to use Facebook ads, how to use YouTube ads, how to use LinkedIn ads, how to use Google ads. You have to know where the people are located. Though. So you have to ask them, okay, what social media platform do you use most? Where do you go to search for, stuff, for things or for help? And you put it on those platforms, but you get the people on those platforms who like your stuff to share it even more by having compelling statements. Compelling statements, attractive ads, all right? And you do it on these platforms. Um, of course, email marketing, once people start connecting to you, and sending their emails to you, you send more information to them, right? Compelling ads, very important to have these compelling ads, all right? And of course, you go by increasing your visibility with what you call SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. So you're optimizing what is already functioning. So once people are consuming, people are purchasing, or people are speaking, you do search for how to do SEO, how to use search engine optimization. Um, in my program, I teach people how to do that in my coaching program, um, digitize your expertise. But you can learn how to do it by just searching Google and you can learn how to do it yourself. All right? If you want detailed help, then you can enroll in my coaching program. I give you detailed help how to use any one of these ad programs, how to use email marketing programs, as well as how to do SEO. All of these things you learn. All right. But as I said, this is a free video sharing with you how you can do it yourself so you can go out and do it. All right. All right. So this is how you market your stuff. Just go to Google search how to use Facebook ads manager, how to use um, YouTube ad, video ads, how to use LinkedIn ads manager, how to use Google ads manager. Just search for it. How to do email marketing and just follow some steps. Right. See what results you get. Test things. Change it around, test it, trial and error, trial and error. You can learn through trial and error, right? Something doesn't work for a week. Next week, you make an adjustment. Next week, you make a little adjustment again. Next, you, you run everything for like seven days. You test them out. Sometimes you might run something for two weeks or even a month, but you have to keep doing it until you get through, all right? Of course, if you want to pay to learn it faster, you enroll in the program. If you don't want to pay to learn it, then you just try and error 
until you get it right. But these are the steps you need to go through. All right. So this is what we do in digitizing our expertise. We want to market it. We want to get it out there. And we want people to share it, increase our visibility for the people who we don't know who need it. All right. So I hope you enjoy this. And I hope you take action. Because this is not about designing for recognition. This is about designing to respond. Take action. Go and try it. See what you get. Comment. Right? Talk about what your results are, what the challenges you're having. Let's chat about it and let's go further. And you can always click the link below and meet with me, do a, a free consultation, ask some questions and get some more tips and some guidance. All right, what to do. All right. So have fun and bless you. All right. Bye bye.